1971-1974 Stratomatic Excel Carryover League Brought to you by the Shrimp Trawler Game 207 Dodgers at Braves. Welcome back, baseball fans. The 1971-74 Carryover League. We are in the National League tonight. And this is a big early season series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Atlanta Braves. Two perennial powerhouses, you could say, in this timeline under various circumstances. Streaky natures to start the season and different streaks completely. Dodgers start out the year one and five, and the Braves start out the year five and one. And so the Dodgers are really desperate to come away to win this series, or at least win a couple games in this series. They cannot get swept. If the Braves were to sweep the Dodgers in this series and go eight and one, and the Dodgers one and eight, that could be a defining moment for this uh, National League. I don't think the Dodgers could recover from that. So this is why it's huge early on. You dig yourself into a mess in April and May, you never recover. So it's up to the Dodgers to show something. Let's see what's happened though. In LA, we open up for a game one. And in game one, it is Buzz Capra's magnificent 74 card against Andy Messersmith. Early in this game, the Dodgers draw first blood. Single, singles, walk, singles, a ground out, scoring a run, and a two out, two run single by Willie Davis. It's 4 0. But eventually, you see what Atlanta can do. They just chip away at you. They just, they're relentless. You get a solo home by Darrell Evans on a homer 1 2 fly ball, the rest. The inning should have been over. So, what do they do after that? They get a walk, they get hit by a pitch, and they get a double by Rico Cardi, and they get two runs they probably shouldn't have. Then in the fifth inning, after the pitcher makes an error, a stolen base, a single, he scored a double play grounder. Then in the sixth inning, they tie the game with two singles a walk and a two out single by Mari Wills, former Dodger. And just like that, that 4 0 Dodger lead is gone, and we're going, oh my god, here we go again. In the ninth inning, Messersmith is left in there. We leave him in there to battle. A leadoff double by Ralph Gar. He gets Dusty Baker to fly out. He gets Hank Aaron to ground out, and with two outs in the top of the ninth inning, Darrell Evans is an RBI double to give the Braves a lead, 5-4. to four. Now it's bringing Tom House and his 144 ERA. What's that ERA again? Let me check, let me check that ERA. 192. And this is like doomsday, Mr. Automatic Out Tom House, but the Dodgers have other things in mind. Number nine hitter, Ron Say leads off the bottom of the ninth with a solo blast. Then you have Willie Davis with a double. Davey Lopes with a single dot, putting runners in the corners with nobody out. Then pinch hitter Steve Yeager, RBI single. Tom House blows the save in a rather horrible way there. Four straight batters reach the two-run score. The Dodgers win 6-5, to five, and they continue the season. Um, meaning that, uh, yeah, we're getting back to some kind of normalcy, maybe. Can they follow up with a win in Game 2 in L.A.? And the answer is... They do! The Dodgers win Game 2 by a score of 5-3. to three. Don Sutton, 8 innings, 9 hits and 3 runs. Jim Brewer comes on and gets the save in the ninth. Phil Necro, 7 innings, but he comes apart in the 7th. Uh, the Braves' 3 runs were a 2-run hitter by Cardi and a solo shot by Hank Aaron. That's pretty much... You're going to see at least a couple homers every game for the Braves. The Dodgers get an RBI double by Russell, solo shot by Bill Buckner, but the big seventh inning off a of Negro, single, signal, single, triple, single, stolen base, and 5-3, and Jim Brewer saves it. And that puts us here today in Atlanta for a game three. It's not the end of the world if the Dodgers uh, don't sweep the Braves, but the Dodgers would like to win this series, obviously. They're up 2-0. And even if the Braves rip off three straight wins, the Dodgers' season is not over. But in any event, the rest of the National League really doesn't want the Braves to run away with this thing. So if the Dodgers win this game, 
The whole National League breathes a sigh of relief and it's wide open for the Mets, Braves, Dodgers, Giants, Reds, Pirates, Cardinals, you name it. It's all wide open. So here we go. Let's give you our starting pitchers today. For the visiting Dodgers, Claude Osteen, a 20 game winner in 72 with a 2.64 ERA. He has the pitching advantage over his counterpart, George Stone. George Stone, 12 game winner with a 2.80 ERA in 73. For the New York Mets, who couldn't afford to keep him. George Stone was a Brave, went to the Mets, but we have him sticking with the Braves. Let's get started from Fulton County. Leading off, it is Davey Lopes. 34. Why is the center? Willie Davis, 46, is a K. Billy Cohen, 69, second X. Some strange names in here. When you ever, anytime you get a left-handed pitcher on the mound, that's going to be an error on Davey Johnson. Anytime you get a left-handed pitcher on the mound, you're going to see some odd bench players playing. Steve Garvey, 5'11", is a strikeout. And the Dodgers have Billy Cohen in this lineup and Jack Heideman, a shortstop they have, because the regular shortstop, Bill Russell, is a little lousy defensively still. And the Braves against a lefty have Kurt Motten, Paul Casanova, and Marty Perez in this lineup. So uh, some unusual characters. Leading off, it is Dusty Baker. 4 9. Triple one of four is a base hit. Ralph Gar, 1-9. It's a single dot. Two on for Rico Cardi, 66. Flies left. Hank Aaron, 65. Pops the short. And with two outs, Davey Johnson, 67. a walk. Here we go. Bases loaded. Two outs. Daryl Evans. 2-12 is a low max. Braves have yet to have one of those knockout innings they're famous for. Top of two, Joe Ferguson. 43, pitcher X. Pitcher is Stone is an E0, so I have to roll for those home E0 pitchers. Steve Yeager, 37, a base hit. Ron Say, 47, pops the third. And with two outs, it's Bill Russell, 53, left X. Ralph Garza, 3 E12 in left field, but it is a double. So it's second and third with two outs, and it's Jack Heideman. 110, let's take a look at this Jack Heideman card. Who in the heck is Jack Heideman? Well, he was a Cleveland Indian in 1971, and he had 208 and 240 at bats, but he was one of the last good defensive shortstops available in the draft, and the Dodgers picked him up because Bill Russell's a 4E42, and somebody had to play some defense at that position. And Heideman was the best they could find. And actually, 110 is single, 1 to 12. But his star turn fades as he lines out on an 18. Well, that was your Jack Heideman moment, and it was just spoiled there. So I doubt he'll have another moment of magic, but who knows, right? It just didn't work out. Bottom of two, Kurt Martin, 58, lines a second. Paul Casanova, 46, second X. This is Lopes, a 3E12 at second base, but it's a base hit. Marty Perez, 57, pops to first. And with two outs, Dusty Baker, 66, left. Davey Lopes leads off in the third inning. 56, short X. Marty Perez, 3, 38 at short. But it's a base hit. Lopes is an ace stealer, and they have Casanova, zero arm catcher in there. Willie Davis will hit and run. Runner has to steal, runner steals. Runner at second. For Willie Davis, swinging away now. 57's a K. That oh, didn't work out. Billy Cohen. 2 7th also a K. Got with two outs, it's Steve Garvey. 57 is a K. So they waste the stolen base. We go to the bottom of the third. Ralph Gar. 1 8 single. He's an ace dealer. He's going to take off. And I think we got a stolen base, do we not? Yes, we do. Gar's at second. Rico Suave. 2 12 short B. Runner holds. Hank Aaron, 56, sky to center field. Davey Johnson, 35, is a hit by the pitch. And with two outs, it is Daryl Evans, who stranded three guys in the first. 210 is a fly to right field. He has stranded five guys and two at-bats. 
Into the fourth we go. Joe Ferguson. 47 pops to third. Steve Yeager, 55, second C. Ron Say, 68, single one of 12. And he rolls a 13 and lines out. So as soon as we get to the little tiny ballpark in Atlanta, we get a scoreless game. It's the way it goes sometimes. Bottom of the fourth. Kurt Mott leads off. 48, double one of six. Off the Osteen card, that's a base hit. Paul Casanova, 111, flies the right. Marty Perez, 38, is a single. This is not what you want to do. You don't want the bottom three guys getting on base. That's the weakness of the Braves, because they'll kill you when they go back up top. Two on, one out. It's Dusty Baker. And right on cue, let's take a look at the Dusty Baker card of 1972. Center fielder. 321 hitter, 17 home runs. Dodgers getting a good look at their future left fielder. But right now, Dusty Baker is enjoying his mentorship with Mr. Aaron in Atlanta. 2-7, double one of four. It is a two-base hit, and the Braves are on the board first today. Second and third, one out. Ralph Gar, 6-11 off Osteen is a strikeout. And with two outs, it's Rico Cardi. But Rico Cardi, 49 off Osteen, triple one of six. That is a two out, two run single. And just like that, they strike quickly. These Atlanta Braves, they take a three nothing lead. Hank Aaron, 6'10", catcher's card. Ferguson's a 3D5, and the inning's over. We go to the fifth. George Stone throwing a three hitter in the fifth. Bill Russell, 1-4, short. Jack Heideman 1-4. Short A plus injury. Well, not a good day to be Jack Heideman. He got out with two out the runners on base, and now he just hurt himself. So now Bill Russell will go back to shortstop. And I'll put this Jim Rosario guy in the outfield where Russell was. Davey Lopes, 64. 64 is gone if you got power. Lopes does have power against lefties in 73. Not, seven, uh, not against righties. Has it against lefties in 73. And that is gone off the George Stone card. It's a 3-1 game. Willie Davis, 57 is a K. Bottom of the fifth. Let's pause a moment for station identification. This is the Shrimp Trawler video channel. Este es el canal de videos de camaroneros. Bottom of the fifth, Davy Johnson will lead it off. One eight to walk. Daryl Evans, one five. You guessed it, a walk. Two on for Kurt Motten. Two two, short A, double play ball. Runner goes a third with two outs for Paul Casanova, and one six is a ground at a third. Braves cannot increase their lead. We go to the sixth inning, three to one. George Stone, starter seven. Claude Steen, starter eight. Billy Cohen's not your father, Brian, leads off in the sixth inning. 312, double one, single out down. It's a base hit. Steve Garvey, 69, second X. Davy Johnson's a 3E34 at second base. It is a single dot down off of Davy's defense. The Dodgers have something going on in the sixth with runners in the corners. Playing back to Joe Ferguson. 59. Flies the right. Right C, I should say, so no sack fly. Steve Yeager. 2-10. Let's take a look at the Steve Yeager card of 1972. 106 at bats at 274 with four home runs. Really strange situation with Jaeger where he's got the stick here, power on base, batting average, but he doesn't have the glove. It's usually the other way around. He's usually a 211 hitter with a minus three arm and a one. But here he's a four with a plus two arm. <laughs> DH today, but he can hit. 210 is a three run home run, and the Dodgers get a 4 3 lead. Big blow there. Francais, 1 9 short. And Bill Russell, 1 7, pops to second. 
All right, can Claude Osteen hold down the Braves? 4-3, bottom of the sixth. It's Marty Perez. 53, left X. Left fielder is, uh-oh, Billy Cohen's a 44. And that's probably gonna fall in for a two base error on the need for left fielder. That's pretty odd, but that's what happened. Dusty Baker, he is two for three with a run scoring double. Two, five, did we show you his card? Yeah, we showed you his card. Uh, two, five, Homer, one to five, double. That is a double. And that's how fast it takes, folks. The Braves tie the game. They don't take, they don't mess around. You pretty much need to put double digits up there for the Braves to start sweating. So it's now 4-4, runner second, nobody out for Ralph Gar. 54 off of Osteen is center X. But you got the 1E8 Willie Davis in center field. It makes the grab. Rico Cardi, 511, right X. Now, this is a good outfielder. This is Rosario, a 2E2. But it's a single dot dot off the 2E2 right fielder. Really terrible break for the Dodgers. And the Braves retake the lead 5 to 4. Oh well, we didn't think it would last very long. Hank Aaron. 111 pops to first, and with two outs, it is Davey Johnson. Nothing earned this inning. 65 pops to short. 5 4 game. I think we'll take George Stone out. Took him off the hook for a loss. Now I can only win. So you don't want to put him back on the hook for a loss. Into the seventh we go. It'll be Modrabowski is going to make his first appearance in the series in the seventh inning. Moe's bounced around. Had success with Baltimore, Kansas City. We had him on the Angels, I believe, last year. And now he's got he's with the Cardinals in 71. 6 and 1, 345 ERA. Nice little stint there. Guy has to be like 500 years old, too. So here we are in the top of the seventh. Heidebin got hurt, so this is Jim Rosario. Leading off in the top of the seventh inning. 39 is a fly to right. Okay, and we're back up top to Davy Lopes. 1-8 for Lopes, triple 1-2, single dot dot. It's a base hit for the ace stealer. We got the lefty, Willie Davis. Uh, we'll let, let him take some pitches. Let's see what he can do with the bat before we try, attempt to steal. 46 is a walk. So you've got the 2-1 with one out. Billy Cohen is the batter, and he's only good against lefties. He will leave the game. Must be Willie Crawford here. Or Bill Buckner. If it was Willie Crawford, you'd be tempted to bring a lefty in. But with Buckner, it doesn't really matter. So Bill Buckner will be the pinch hitter. Uh, had a day off today against a lefty, but he's going to be put in a service. He hits lefties pretty darn well. So there's no reason to go to a lefty. Let's just stick with Drabowski with two on and one out. See if he can dig himself out of this mess. Bill Buckner in the pitch. 38 is a single dot off the Buckner card, and they are loaded with one out. They're going to bring the infield up with Steve Garvey. Let's take a look at the Steve Garvey card. This is the 74 Garvey card that was their National League MVP. Just And just think, a year ago we had a 71 card in the league where he was a 227 hitting third baseman. And overnight in the draft we improved him to a gold glove first baseman MVP World Series participant. A lot you can do in the carrier league when it's a span of four years, and that's what we just did. Had to get Wes Parker moved out to Las Vegas <laughs> with Garvey taking over duties at first. Enough of that. We got the bases loaded, one out, one run game. They're going to bring it up. They can get a 6-2-3 double play off Garvey, who is known into a lot of those, or not a double plays in general. The pitch to Steve Garvey. 3-11. Is right be question mark to tie this thing? This would be Lopes. You know he's gonna run on right be question mark. Lopes is 16, 17, 18. Martin's got a plus two arm, and that's gonna score the run. A sack fly. The game is tied at five. And with two outs and two men still on the bases, it's Joe Ferguson. 1-5 is a fly ball to left field. Well, Drabowski did a reasonable job getting out of the mess. Does give Mr. George Stoner no decision. 
Claude Osteen in the spirit of things, I think we'll take him out too. <laughs> so he gets no decision in a 5-5 game. And let's get a righty in there to get some of these part-time players out. So do you want to go Moeller or Wesley? Uh, let's go Joe Moeller. Joe Moeller will come in for the Dodgers. In the seventh inning, Joe Moeller for the Dodgers. He was two and four with a 382 ERA in 1971. It'll be Darrell Evans leading off in a 5-5 game. Actually, before we lead off, I gotta remember that it is stretch time here. Didn't want to forget that. Seventh inning stretch time and the seventh inning stretch time music we've been listening to is Little Feet, the 1972 LP, Sailing Shoes. This is the title track you're listening to now. Little Feet, great band from the Dirty South. Back to the live action. And we have, yes, Daryl Evans stepped, stepped out of the, back, of the box for that little notation. Now he steps back in. The pitch of Daryl Evans. 69 off Moeller is second X. You got Davey Lopes at 312. He's already given up one hit this game on his defense. Gives up another one. You know, the Dodgers, they're not gonna, it's not like Lopes is gonna ever be a, a one or Russell or say. I mean, Garvey will be a one. But the Dodgers are always gonna have problems giving up infield hits in their heyday of the 70s. They're just gonna have to deal with it. And that's an example right there. Darrell Levins with the leadoff single. Kurt Motten will leave. He doesn't have any hits on his card. He was in right field. If we go Tepedino, most likely, Jim, well, I'm not going to bring Jim Brewer in seventh. It will be Tepedino. Frank Tepedino will come in and bat for Kurt Motten. He'll move to first, and then Aaron, who was at first, will move into the outfield. Frank Tepedino, here's the pitch. 63 off Moeller is pitcher X. Moeller's an E22. That's not very good. A 2. E22 pitcher. It's a GBC. So, that means Daryl Evans is at second. Batter's Paul Casanova. Not very good against righties either. They're going to pinch hit Johnny Oates. So, Mares eat Oates and Johnny Oates will bat. Johnny Oates with runner at second and one out. The pitch to Johnny. 68 off of Moeller is a strikeout. And with two outs, it is Marty Perez. 49 flies to left. Moeller does a nice job. One hit. Got two uh, right-handed batters out of the lineup. And a 5-5 tie in the eighth inning we go. Drabowski's a relief, too. He'll go another inning. At least Steve Yeager, who had the big home run in the sixth inning. 46 is a walk. It's Ron Say. 64 off Drabowski is short X. This is Marty Perez, a 3E38 at short. And that's a ground ball C. So we have Jaeger at second. Do we want to pinch run for him? Uh, I suppose we could, but uh, I think it's going to leave it the way it is. Bill Russell's the batter. Two sever Bill Russell is a base hit to right field. And Hank Aaron's out there, so you're not going to challenge his arm. And you got runners at first and second with one out for Jim Rosario. Let's take a look at his card before he swings. Jim Rosario was in the Giants system, one of the billion outfielders the Giants had in that era. 71, he hits 224, but he has a nice on base percentage 33 walks, 192 at bats. That's why the Dodgers got him for his base running, base stealing, on base percentage, and switch hitting ability. And defense. Yeah. The pitch to Jim Rosario. 49 off Drabowski. Double one of 14. That is a double. One and 11. And Mo Drabowski is making a mess of things here in Atlanta. Second and third, one out. We go back up top to Davey Lopes. And that is going to do it. Mo is gone. He is broken in the second inning of relief by putting three men on base. So not good pitching. You go back to uh, Stone either. I mean, the Dodgers have scored four, five, six runs in the last three and a third innings. Trabowski leaves after an inning and a third. 
You got Lopes Davis and then another lefty, Buckner. So let's go. We save house to close games. Let's go Mike McQueen. Mike McQueen will come on. Very young Mike McQueen. He made his major league debut. He was 19 years old in 70. Now he's a he's a 20-year-old in 71 with a 354 ERA in 56 innings for the Braves. He does not have a long shelf life, though. They probably rushed him into the bigs too long, too young. But here's a big moment. You got second and third, one out in the eighth inning. Mike McQueen against Davey Lopes. Davey's had a nice day today. He's got three hits and four at-bats. 1-9, Davey Lopes again. Doesn't matter. Lefty, righty hits them all. And 1-9 is a single to left field. That scores Russell. Rosario can fly. He's a 15. Left fielder's guard, a plus one arm. He's got a run on a 16. And he scores on a four. And your Dodgers. This is the one thing about the Braves that is concerning. Do they have enough pitching to win the close games? Or when, you, when they play face a team with a good pitching staff like the Dodgers or the Mets, for instance. And I don't know. I don't know if the Braves are, are going to be able to hang in there. They've been getting knocked around this year. Their ERA is pretty poor. It's an 8-5 to five game. Davey Lopes at first. Willie Davis is going to do a little hit and run action against the lefty. Hit and run is an eight, so the runner moves to second with two outs and Bill Buckner. Three six or Buckner. Let's take a look at the Buckner card. 1972, 319 batting average. Yes, folks, the Dodgers have caught life finally. After a dismal start, they're clicking on all cylinders. 3 6 is triple one to 17. That is a triple, and it is now 9 2 5. What a way to make a living. Nine to five, two outs, runner at third, and it's Steve Garvey. Two eight for Garvey, double one to nine is a base hit. It is now 10 to five. And the fans in Atlanta are getting upset. Their season is uh, falling apart on them. They were thrashing early and now it's getting kind of concerning. Joe Ferguson, 4-4 off. McQueen is gone! A home run! A two-run homer! And I think we're taking the kid out to not humiliate him anymore. He got only one batter out. Again, I said this kid's 19, 20 years old. And it is 12-5. The Dodgers do not know how to get out. It's a reversal of... of well, I mean, the, the Dodgers are doing what the Braves normally do. They've got three home runs in the span of four innings and all 12 of the runs. So Hal Haydell now comes on in the eighth inning. Trying to get the final out here. And actually, they're going to have a pinch hitter for Jaeger. It will be Willie Crawford, who, who in the beginning of the inning, we thought he was going to pinch run for Steve Jaeger. Now they bat around, and now he's pinch hitting for Steve Jaeger. Willie Crawford. The pitch to Willie Crawford. 2-9 is a fly to center field. So Crawford is in the outfield. The Dodgers have all their defense in there. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Dodgers down seven, uh, Braves down seven. It'll be Dusty Baker. 49 flies to left. Ralph Gar. 1-9 is a double one single. Rico Cardi. 35 is a walk. Two on for Hank Aaron. Here come the Braves. 1-6 flies the center. And with two outs, it's Davey Johnson. 1-8, single one of seven, line out the rest. But he lines out on a 16. Two decent innings for Moeller. Long game today. We go to the long nine-inning game. 17 runs on the board. Ron Say leads off against Hal Haydell. 65, triple 108 is a single. Bill Russell, 33, lines the first. Jim Rosario, 110, it's a 163 double play. And they kind of give up there in the ninth there. With a seven run lead, do we add insult to injury? Bring in Jim Brewer with a seven run lead. I think we'll conserve him a little bit. We'll go with uh, Pete Mickelson in the ninth. He was their closer a few years ago. Pete Mickelson, now the long man. 71, eight and five, 365 ERA in 74 innings. Brewer is available if this thing were to turn on the Dodgers in the bottom of the ninth. Leading off, it's Darrell Evans. 1-8, eight, 
is a walk. Frank Tepidino. 68 off Mickelson is a single. Two on, nobody out for Johnny Oates. This is what the Braves do to you. Two six, you guessed it. Double one to 10, base hit dot dot. 12 to six, there's nobody out. And these are the Braves. Batting from uh, Marty Perez, this time will be Mari Wills. Burns in the corners, gotta play it up for the eight bunner. 110, fly the ball to right B question mark. No need to run a batter when you're down six. Dusty Baker, 56, short X. But remember, the starting shortstop, Heidemann, got hurt. So Russell's a 40 42 at shortstop. All they want to do is get on base, and they do with an error. It is 12 to 7. Braves doing Braves things. Ralph Gar, do we do it, folks? Or how far do we go with this? I think we have to try and humiliate Pete Mickelson a little bit more. What do you say? First and second one out, he will face Ralph Gar. 46 is a K. And with two outs, it is all up to, with the bench empty, it is all up to Rico Cardi with two on and two outs in a 12 7 game. The pitch to Rico Cardi, 3 10, is a fly ball to center field, and that will do it. And the Dodgers do get the three-game sweep over the Braves. And the whole National League does a lap of joy. It's a complete reset on the National League with no team running away with this thing. That's great news for a fun summer in the National League. Six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, uh, inning and a third for Haydell. I wouldn't have expected the Dodgers to put these crooked number runs up. They've notoriously been a bunch of singles hitters who put guys on base and don't bring them around. But today, oh, they brought them around, folks. So Hal Haydell gave up a hit. Poor Mike McQueen, like a deer in the headlights. He gave up a hit, an out, and then a triple, a single, a homer, and a walk. Oh my goodness. Four hits and five runs and a walk. <laughs> That's not a good line. That'll leave a mark. Maybe that's why he, he was out of baseball. He lost his confidence after getting blasted in one of his games. But Mojrabowski takes the loss, folks. He was awful in relief. They pulled Stone, and, and in the seventh inning, two hits, a run, and a walk in that inning. And then in the eighth inning, he gives up two hits, three runs, and a walk. That's nine runs, or excuse me, eight runs. Stone through six actually gets a no decision. Remember, we took him out in a tie game. He gave up uh, four runs. Seven hits and four runs. A walk and six strikeouts. Mickelson, that's not a save. He pitched the ninth inning, gave up two hits. Two runs, a walk and a K. Joe Moeller, a hit and a K. Two hits, a walk and a K. Moeller gets the win. So Osteen got out of it with a no decision as well. He gave up 10 hits, five runs, and three of those were earned. Four walks and a strikeout. 1009, 0109, 12, 16, 7, 14, 12, 16, 7, 14, 2663, 4663. Oh, we have too many walks here. Osteen only walked. Oh, he walked four. Too many walks here. George Stone. Didn't walk anybody. And McQueen. Oh yeah, McQueen and Drowski walk one. There it is. 1009 So we'll see the composite box for both squads. And you'll see how their seasons have turned from where they started. We'll look at the overall National League. We're kind of at a, a breaking point here. The National League has had uh, three... Uh, sets of games played and now we're 
moving into the second half of the regular season before the All-Star break with three more sets, culminating with everybody playing a best of seven right before the All-Star break. Let's start with Atlanta. So they, they started five and one, and they just lost three straight, and they're now five and four. And we know where the problem is. There's your problem. They're hitting 288, but the ERA is 560. What do we say? If you got a 560 ERA, you're not going to get past the Mets. They had Buds Capper, he's good. They had Dom House, he's good, but he blew game one against the Dodgers. And all the other pitchers, the rest of the bullpen's been pretty awful for the Braves. Home runs, Hank Aaron's got six of them and 10 RBI. The pace the Braves. Now let's take a look at the Dodgers. They're going to be slightly worse. They had a rough start. Four and five. Also hitting 288. They got a 346 ERA, which is okay. Most teams would love a 346 ERA, but the Dodgers are perfectionists. They want to have an ERA in the twos because all their pitchers have ERAs in the twos. So they got to pitch better than that. Uh, but I like to say maybe they should have better defense backing up that pitching staff instead of that porous infield of Russell and Lopes. So that's the problem to watch for the Dodgers moving forward. Not just today, but for the whole decade. Anyway, I also want to look at net runs here. So the Dodgers have scored 40 runs in nine games and have given up 42 runs. So it's about right in a four and five record. So, you know, just pretty mediocre. And when we look at the overall now, you'll see how the Dodgers, whoosh, boy, that was looking dismal before, but now you see they are still in the thick of things. You've got the Giants are red hot, but really the Dodgers are bunched up here with these other three squads, just a game and a half behind. And up in the East, where Atlanta was running away with it, not anymore. Now your Mets at eight and six. This is a this is a total mess. This division, even the Marlins could win this one. You got the Mets at eight and six. Still a lot of baseball to play. Again, we have three more series for each squad before the All-Star break. And then, of course, you have a postseason tournament. And then we have the playoffs. So that's the format. Great, great series, though, for the National League. I'm looking at this again, and uh, the Giants are hot. They got the best start in the National League. But really, everybody else, it's tight, tight, tight everywhere. Look at that. Nobody's playing 700 baseball except for the Giants. All right, thanks for checking this out, and we'll see you next time.